Muslim Women's Voices was a year-long exploration of Muslim societies and cultures through the lens of performance and looking at women in particular. It was important to us to have not only performances, but curricular engagements where the artists were co-creating curricula for students with faculty on our campus, uh, workshops where they could share their practice, informal engagements, uh, including dinners and lunches where people just got to talk about life and where they come from. We created a whole series of events because we were really trying to stress the complexity of Muslim women, that they're not monolithic. There is not one stereotype that defines them. We just want to remove that heavy image that covers women and Arab people because they just look different and to show that we can deal with these important topics in a performance. My challenge with this piece has been, how do you do a piece about Muslim women? I mean, where do you begin? For now, I'm beginning with my relationship to Islam and my family as an honest and transparent lens through which I can look at my own biases and assumptions and position. I have this allegiance to my culture, to my people, where I don't want to like offend anybody, but at the same time I have this urge to be the best version of myself without any boundaries and without any limitations. The idea that we had such international breadth, really, that people were able to experience so many different cultures in a single year, that these women had such fantastic stories to tell. And it was all of it that added up to dispel some of the stereotypes that surround uh, Muslim people in this country. Itu akan men menjadikan orang lebih uh, akrab, lebih mudah memahami hidup orang lain. Itu membuat saya sangat tertarik. What I like the most about Wesleyan so far is to see all these young minds so brilliantly seeking that other perspective and seeking um, a, a bigger picture and seeing how they could impact the world once they have this knowledge and this perspective has been extremely inspiring for me. The things that we don't know, we're, we fear the most. But once you interact with people who actually carry those traditions or culture, then you realize, oh, it's really not that foreign as you think. I got really great messages from people all across America who said, I've never I didn't know people like you existed. And I think that a lot more Americans, if they met Muslims, because there's so many Americans who've never met a Muslim in their lives. So I think it's just really important for the world, um, and especially mainstream America, to hear Muslim voices. I think that we created the kind of climate for these artists to uh, express themselves both as performers, but also as people. And I think we underestimated uh, how much they would get from being at Wesleyan uh, to find out that an American campus actually cared uh, what they think and feel was uh, an incredible revelation to all of us. Don't be shy and don't be scared and afraid. Whatever in your heart, just come out and make your demand and be yourself. When I feel like, wow, I've affected someone's life. Like I've, someone has made a different life decision because of something I said or something that, that, I, that I was to them or, you know, and I don't know this person. You know, so I'm, I'm grateful to be able to, um, to have that voice and be that voice for maybe, you know, women who are not allowed at this point to have a voice because of their, their, their environment, you know.